Hey there. So most of us Linux users have some kind of uh, Linux server that we keep SSH uh, into, like a home server, maybe something for our job or whatever it is. It's always some kind of SSH uh, constantly day after day and we keep typing that password in, right? And if we would like to simplify this procedure, uh, we could use uh, SSH key pairs. Key pairs are uh, like a key and a lock, and basically they go together. One is a public one that uh, it can safely be shared, and the other one is, of course, private. So without further ado, let's uh, dig into it. The first thing you want to do, create .ssh folder if you don't already have it on your PC. Okay, then you need to generate the key pair. The file name, uh, you can enter whatever you want, maybe just type the name of your server, for example, pi. The password is not needed here. And now we have our key pair. One is the public one and the other is a private one. So the next step is check if your agent is running. There we go, we have the PID file. If it's not running, just run it by hand. Next, you want to add a private key identity to the OpenSSH authentication agent. There we go, identity added. So the next step would be to copy the SSH uh, ID to the remote server but before we do that let's log into the remote server regularly just so we can see how it worked uh, up until this point there we go this is my uh, raspberry pi home server which uh, into which i'm logging in for the first time it's asking for my password let's log in there we go, we are now logged in. Now let's log out. Now we are back uh, in our local machine. And now let's uh, copy the ID. Minus A, use the public key. Like that. And it's the destination of the host name and your username where you're copying the uh, ID. It will ask for the password this time. And voila, we are now finished and we can try logging in again. Like this. And voila, no more passwords needed. See you next time.